On January 22, 1947, the West Coast got its first television station, KTLA. Every other pioneering U.S. station was east of the Mississippi. For half a decade, the station had been on the air experimentally as W6XYZ. It was originally owned by a part of Paramount Pictures. The station was the personal project of 26-year-old electronics prodigy Klaus Landsberg. When KTLA went on the air as Channel 5 on this date in 47, there were no other stations in the West. It was only the eighth station in the nation. Bob Hope emceed the first broadcast from studios in a garage on the Paramount lot. It is well remembered that Hope accidentally called KTLA KTL. And I want to tell you it's a great thrill to be here on this wonderful initial program of station KTL. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Bob, first commercial television broadcast, Hope. While at the same time, the director was trying to figure which camera he was on. Which one do I look at? Largely because it was a Los Angeles station, it soon started producing four other stations around the country, shows that included Armchair Detective, Frosty Frolics, Hollywood Reel, and this children's favorite. It's time for Beanie! The show was the creation of Stan Freeberg, and Dawes Butler, who did most of the Hanna-Barbera voices. It was a favorite in L.A., and at least one adult dropped everything he was doing to watch it every day. Albert Einstein. KTLA would later go on to be the first station to use a helicopter for news broadcasting and special events. In 1963, Gene Autry and his Golden West Broadcasting bought Channel 5 for $12 million. Since then, KTLA has had several other owners. It's hard to believe that when KTLA went on the air on this day in 1947, the closest television station to it was in Chicago. I'm Dennis Daly.